Well, welcome to our uh, webinar on the speed grader and the grade book. Um, so let me move to the next slide, maybe. How? This way. Um, just some information about uh, UM Online and um, just our, our team where you can find out more about our unit. And we have our direct email. So if you email UM Online IDs at mso.umt.edu, it comes directly to the um, IDs and we can address any Moodle and Canvas questions. So this is our attendance link for um, this training. And I believe that Tana is going to put um, a link to the attendance in there in the chat as well. So you can just follow that and it will record your attendance in GrizzHub. And then after the training is over, you will get sent a, an evaluation, a link to an evaluation through GrizzHub. And we definitely appreciate your feedback on this training just so we can figure out um, maybe additional trainings that we want to do or how we can tweak our trainings, especially since this is the first grade book training that I've done that we've done in Canvas. So that's a little nerve wracking. If you have an account or when you get your account, oh, we have somebody coming in. Um, when when you get your account or if you have your account, you can log in at canvas.umt.edu. You can go there now. You won't be able to log in to the Canvas page, but you can access some of the resources that are underneath that. And just our objectives for this. So this is this session covers the speed grader and gradebook. And in this session, we will identify how the gradebook is organized and the different settings that are available. We'll identify the speed grader settings and tools and use it to provide feedback on student assignments. And we will set up a Canvas gradebook in alignment with the syllabus and with weighted assignment groups. And when possible, I'll try to draw a correlation to Moodle, um, just, you know, kind of maybe just a different frame of reference um, for the, for what you're seeing. Uh, after the training is over, we will email this um, tip sheet. So this covers a lot of the main points for today's session. And so you can um, you kind of just use this for your notes. Um, and there are links throughout to the different instructor guides um, that are applicable to today's training. Uh, so I'm going to go into a demo course and we'll just get started. So the Canvas gradebook um, seems to happen or tends to happen in three different places in Canvas. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the gradebook, and you access that by selecting the link on the side in the course navigation menu called grades. So we just click on that and we see a gradebook. And this is very similar to the grader report in Moodle, where you have a table with all of your assignments laid out. You can see the total points for the class on the right hand side. And then you can see your students listed along the left hand side. Uh, there are different settings that you can um, access from here. So uh, you can directly grade. So you can just put your cursor wherever and you can give a, a grade to a student. So I'll just test user submitted theirs manually. Uh, you can click on this three dot menu and look at different grade option or grade settings here. So you can choose to hide grades until you're ready to show them to your students. You can curve the grades. You can send messages to students. You can sort. Um, you can decide how you want to enter the grades. Do you want it to be points or percentage? You can download all of them. So all of that can be accessed from these settings here in the three dot menu. You can, um, if I click on this, this student has actually submitted the assignment. And I can tell because there's this little icon right here. 
And um, if I click on this arrow, it will actually take me to another um, kind of a, a pop out window. And from here, I can, you know, maybe this the student, it was late. Um, I can adjust the, you know, mark late. I can mark it excused if they didn't get a chance to turn it in. I can leave a comment on it. I can enter the grade here as well. And then you can also access the speed speed grader um, and we'll go there in just a minute from this um, from the grade book you can also import grades if you have them um, in a in offline or export the grades if you want to look at them offline there are some other settings that are accessible through this gear icon so I can set late policies so maybe you want to take a percentage off for late assignments and you can automatically set that here um, you or this is actually for missing assignments so if students don't make it by the deadline you could have a grade automatically applied and then here is where you would um, add any automatic deductions for late work you can decide here if you want grades to be automatically posted so um, as soon as you enter the grade the students will see that they've gotten a grade or you can select them to be manually posted so this might maybe if you want to grade all of the students work and then make them available to students then you could select manually post grades and then there's some different settings here you can um, make a override on the final grade and then you can also change how you view your grade so you can or view the grade book so notice if I, I'm going to click on that, notice these different colors here. This just tells me that it's missing. This tells me that it was submitted and graded. And you can change those. Um, actually, that blue tells me that it's late. Um, so you can put colors in just to kind of give you a visual cue. OK, so that is the grade book. From the grade book, we can access the another um, part of the grading scheme in Canvas called the speed grader. So speed grader is like open grader. So the grade book is like um, the grader report in Moodle and speed grader is like open grader. And you can access that through here. And I can go directly to this assignment um, example. And then I can view the assignments, the student's submission here. I can give a grade, I can view the rubric. Um, if I have a rubric attached, and then this one I do, I'm just gonna cancel a lot of that. That's another webinar. Um, I can see whether it was late. I can toggle between the students. I can toggle between the assignments. Actually, that, that just toggled between the students. Um, I can make comments in the speed grader. I can uh, look at, some, there's some different settings up here. So options, how do I wanna sort the students? If I want to grade the students anonymously, I can hide their names. So that is in the speed grader options. I can hide the grades from the students. Um, I can also go back to the grade book from there. Okay. So I am going to go, I'm going to click on this. This will actually take me to the assignment itself. Um, and so from the assignment, you can also access SpeedGrader. And so I just clicked on SpeedGrader and it brought me back to the same assignment. Within SpeedGrader, um, so for this assignment, um, I have some practice uh, submissions. So Tony submitted his assignment as he just typed it into a, a text box, but um, test student actually uploaded an assignment as a, it was a Word document. And if they upload PDFs, Word documents, and a few other um, uploads, you can actually annotate these. And um, so you could give a comment. and um, you can strike through something. 
uh, you can draw on it. Um, and you can, and then you can draw and say, um, check the spelling. And one thing, so Moodle has something similar. Um, Moodle's annotation tools are a lot harder to use and Moodle's annotation tools are not accessible by a screen, screen reader, but Canvas's annotation tools are accessible. At the very least, these comments on the side are accessible and they would point back to where it is in the document. So um, in Moodle, we would tell faculty do not use the annotation tools, but in Canvas, it's fine to use it. Another cool thing about the speed grader is you can develop a comment library. So if you find yourself making the same comments to students over and over, you can save them into your comment library. Library. So I have a couple in here. Um, and I could just click on that. And then that comment is added to that. Um, I could also add a new comment. So And then you add to the library, and now that's saved. And so I just changed it. And then if I want to grade the student's work, I, I click Submit. And the student can, I believe, comment, repeat, uh, comment back to me if um, they're confused about what I said. OK. So that is the speed grader. I'm going to go back. So we've talked about the grade book, um, seen where it is, accessed it through that grades link in the course navigation bar. We um, manually entered grades. We looked at some of the different settings that were available in the grade book. And then we went into SpeedGrader uh, and kind of looked at, at some of the options there. Um, we accessed it from a publish assignment, but we also accessed the speed grader from the three dot menu. Uh, and we used it to view student submissions. OK, so those are two parts of the gradebook in Canvas. So speed grader, like open grader in Moodle, and the gradebook here, like this, the grader report in Moodle. So the other piece of the gradebook is um, has to be done in the assignments index. And this is where you're going to go to set up any categories that you have in your uh, in your syllabus and then add weights to those categories. So that's kind of the one confusing thing that I find about um, about Canvas is that those grading categories and the weights on those grading categories are handled in assignments. Whereas in Moodle, it was done in um, a page called uh, Grade Setup. But we're going to go here into assignments. The other confusing thing about this index here is that it's not only assignments. It also includes, it includes graded quizzes and graded discussions. So it pretty much covers everything. So in my class, I'm going to go to my, my uh, syllabus. Uh, my grading categories are quizzes, which are 25%, inquiries, which are 45%, and discussions, which are 30. OK, so I'm going to use these grading categories and set that up in the gradebook in my assignments view. These are called assignment groups. And I can add a new assignment group um, by just clicking plus group. I can also add a new assignment through here as well, but it's probably best to add them within the modules um, where they belong. So I'm going to change the assignments because in my in my um, in my syllabus, these were called inquiries, inquiries. And I'm going to save that. Um, and then quizzes and discussions, those were all pretty much standard. So the next thing I want to do is add weights to these. So I'm going to go into that three-dot menu, select assignment group weights. 
and I want to say yes, weight the final grade based on assignment groups. I think inquiries were 45, quizzes were 25, and discussions were 30. And I'm going to save that. And now those are um, weighted. And let me see if we can see that in the grade book. So we don't see that in the grade book. We just see the list of, um, oops. We just see the list of um, assignments. Let me see if there's a different way. There's some other ways that you can view the grade book. If I go to individual, that didn't help. Okay, so this, we're still figuring this stuff out. So it would just be applied um, from the student's side and, and those, those weights would be applied, but you're not necessarily gonna see it in the grade book here. I'm gonna go back out. So we've looked at the grade book where we can manually enter grades uh, here through this grade index. We've set up our grade book in the assignments index using assignment groups. And we've looked at SpeedGrader, um, which we can access from here. And those are the three kind of main places where you wanna go in um, uh, for grading and grade setup. I'm going to go back to, okay, so we've talked about this. Okay, so another thing I want to talk about is another aspect of setting up your gradebook um, might be you want to, to create a custom grading scheme. And so let's look at that. And that would be done in your settings tab. If I go into settings. I'm going to go down. I'm just here in the course details tab. I've got a lot of settings to choose from, um, but maybe I want to have a custom grading scheme. So I'm going to click, I'm going to toggle that on, enable course grading, and I can view or edit the default Canvas grading scheme. I'm going to go here to manage. Here I can select to add a new one and I can see what the default is. So this is what is currently in Canvas. And so you have letter grades that correspond to percentages. Um, if I want to add a new grading scheme, so maybe I add, um, maybe I just really want to focus on performance. And I think I can do this and maybe... Hmm. Trying to remember. Oh, wait. There has to be a way to do this. I want it to say, let's say if I, can I change that to excellent? Good. Or I'm going to take that one off. Um, and then I'm going to save that. Okay, um, there might be a better way to do that, but you can also, if you just really want to move away from grades and you just want to focus on performance, you can set up a new grading scheme um, in that settings section. And if I, I can view the, see, it still only has that one in there. We'll see if I go to manage. Okay, it's in there. Um, And you can, just like in Moodle, you can be, you can add grades to um, discussions, assignments, and quizzes. Um, and I think that is, let me just check. Oh, one other thing that I think is really cool about um, just a couple things. Only published and graded assignments, discussions, and quizzes will display in the gradebook. So anything that's non-graded is not going to show up in the gradebook. And um, when you use Student View, it will create something called a, a, a like a, 
a dummy account called test student. And this test student account is added to your gradebook and you can submit work as a test student. And then you can view the gradebook from the viewpoint of, uh, as, of a student. So we had that student view option in Moodle, but it didn't give you, it never really showed you what was going on in the gradebook. But with test student, you can interact with your assignments and you can interact with the gradebook. So let's end on that. Um, and so that's actually what this is. I submitted some stuff as a test student and I can see those assignments here. So I'm gonna go back out and I am going to go to student view. And now I am viewing this course as a student. And if I go into grades, I can actually see um, grades that the student has, or that the instructor has given me. I can see feedback. So I can see that this, my teacher gave me that feedback on that assignment. Um, I can see where I submitted something. Actually, there's no grade there. Um, I can just interact with the scores there. I can see those grading categories that were set up. I can see what is missing. Um, and I, like I said, I can see what has been graded. So that is the student view. So if I want to leave the student view, so that's basically what your students would see when they went in. And then one last thing I should say is that with the gradebook, um, or this to do section on the side will tell you what you need to grade. So this will tell you if a student has submitted something. So there's something there for you to grade. So if I go into um, grade discussion one, I can see that um, a student has submitted uh, some work here. This is Tony and I can give that student a grade. So all of that, so you can see very clearly from the home page what you have to grade. Okay, so we have a, about five minutes. So any questions? Yeah, cool. I always have questions. So um, I really like the ability to objectively grade assignments without having their names on them. So the way I used to do it was not so objective. Um, just from a management standpoint to keep track of assignments, I would have the students submit like, Assignment one Castillo and, and then call it that. So mm -hmm. um, I don't want to do that anymore because now I can do it objectively. So would I have everybody call it assignment one? And then it would come up with the appropriate student and get that grade back to the appropriate students grade Let's book. See. Let's see what it looks like. You know what I mean? Yeah. So hide student name. Um so I just I just tuned, turned it on that anonymous option and it just shows me what these are. Um, so let's see, let's go to this one. So it does show you the name of the paper or the assignment. So you would probably just wanna direct your students not to put their name on the assignment itself. Oh, sorry, my dog. Or or here on the, um, in the paper submission. Does that answer your question? So will, yeah, will it automatically call it research paper one or are they giving it that name to get into the system? No, that was actually the name of the assignment when I submitted it. Yeah, so they won't rename the assignments. They will only rename up here where, the, where you have the student names. Okay, so I just need to direct them, don't put your name on your actual body of your assignment and then it should be fine right yeah don't put your name here and then don't you know i if i i could have said research paper one slash castillo and that's what would show here as well okay so i need to direct them both of those is yeah called. yeah name the assignment what it is don't rename the assignment and don't put your name in yeah exactly okay. got it any other questions i don't so think so i understand Oops, sorry. Go ahead, Ashley. Did I understand correctly that the only assignments the students can see in the grade book are the assignments that have something submitted or something graded? 
they will only see something that is published. As um, in? Yeah. So as in like, see how I, it, right. It's that green published. Mm -hmm. um, and if I go back to modules, um, so this is just the instructor. This is not published, but all of these other ones are, and the assignments in them are published. And this little grayed out one, um, not grayed out, but it's, you know, these are bright green and this one is a little bit lighter green. That's yeah. telling me that there are actually some student submissions in that one. Um, and so if I go to the student view um, and I go to grades, the student can see all of the published, the published assignments. Um, and they can even see ones where they didn't submit something. Right. So anything that has, to use the Moodle terms, anything that is set on the date to open. So if something opened today, they could see that. But if something mm -hmm. opens tomorrow, they can't see it. I believe. Um, oh, that's a good question. Tana or Justine, does the. Is it unpublished until the open date or is it published, but grayed out if they have that that restriction? I'm trying to look right now in my test class. I'm not 100 percent sure. We that's a great question. Um, I'm going to write it down too. And the, I don't know how useful, I mean, the reason I have, I asked the question is um, oftentimes I have students who, um, especially as we get toward the end of the semester, they want to know what is possible with respect to their grade. Are they going to be able to pass the class um, or where do they stand? And oftentimes what I like to be able to say is, well, go into the grade book and what you can do is look at all the remaining assignments and look at their point values, and then you can see what is possible. Um, and so that ability to look in the grade book and see what assignments remain gives them that opportunity to go, oh, I have three quizzes left, I have four discussion forums left, and I have you know two um, assignments left. And then they can actually sort of say, okay, this is what's possible. These are the total possible points that I could get remaining. Um, and, you know, they can sort of do the basic arithmetic to see what their, um, what the potential is. But, you know, I, and I know they can't actually do that in Moodle as well, because Moodle requires that you sort of do these funny settings where they can see every, every possible assignment without actually accessing the assignment is what I always hope for, but it's usually not, it's not available in Moodle. And I don't know if I can do it here. Yeah, I think we still have to do some investigation on that, okay. but there is something called what if scores. And so as a student, I can decide if I want to calculate um, my grade based on graded assignments only. Um, and so I, this is definitely something I'd like to research more, but I think there's some options in Canvas that we didn't have in Moodle where we can help our students make better decisions about grading <laughs> about right. what they're going to so they're it, gonna and, skip. <laughs> yeah. and so i you know i don't feel like i'm there yet to be able to give good answers but there is you know there's these options here where students can kind of play around with what if i did this what if i didn't do this right okay so, but yeah but i that is an area um which i've heard about but I don't actually know a lot about at this point. Okay. Well, thank you for what you do know. That was helpful. <laughs>